How about a great hand for our superintendent of school, C.J. Huff? First of all, it's, it's good to see the family here today. That's right. Miss you guys. I want to thank you for making the time to jo join your Joplin Schools family today as we celebrate life in the midst of destruction. Memorial Day is set aside to honor those who have given their lives to defend those principles we hold most dear. I was thinking about this last night and the parallels to our situation are striking. Our soldiers don't choose the battles they fight. They suit up, show up, and do their jobs. We didn't sign up for this war either. But true to form, in the past week, you've all pulled together as a family, supporting one another through prayer, words of encouragement, volunteerism, and action. No task was more daunting than our primary mission following the tornado last Sunday evening. The mission? Locate and account for all of our family members. At 316 last Friday, I, re I received a text message. That indicated that mission was complete. As a result of your diligence and unwavering fortitude in the face of insurmountable challenges, 100% of our family are accounted for. I personally believe that things happen for a reason. I believe in God, and I believe 316 last Friday had significance for all of us. It was a great moment of relief for our family, but more significantly, I believe there are biblical implications as well. John 316 says this, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Today, we grieve the loss of eight members of our family. We lost seven children. And one educator. But today we celebrate that we are all together again in body and eternal spirit. Please join me for a moment of silence to honor our family members who are no longer with us. Thank you. Schools are at the heart of every community. It's where we go to learn, to be inspired, discover and cultivate those qualities that eventually evolve into our careers. So it's only fitting that our schools are not only an essential part of this recovery, but are helping to lead the charge, working in concert with city, state, and federal officials, and we will recover and come back stronger than ever. One week and one day ago, we were celebrating graduation and preparing for a flurry of parties and other activities. Today we find ourselves on the back end of a natural disaster that wrought more chaos and havoc than we've ever seen before in our lives. Our loss has been great. We must never forget those who died in this battle. And today we celebrate their lives and their hopes and dreams. We honor their memories by moving forward, rebuilding, and continuing to take care of one another as a family. Taking care of family means being your advocate and helping you through this crisis. Several of you have inquired as to whether you still have jobs, especially if your school is destroyed. Let me assure you, we need you now more than ever. It may seem chaotic, seem chaotic until we get all our buildings rebuilt and restored, and you may find classes meeting locations you hadn't expected. 
but we will have school. Yeah. In fact, we're on target for starting summer classes on June 13th, which is less than two weeks away. Unfortunately, we've lost many of our enrollment records, so any high school student planning to attend summer session needs to re-enroll. You can do this online or by phone, which is, whichever is easiest for you. Elementary students need only to contact us if your summer enrollment status has changed. To my employees, you've also expressed concern about your insurance and health care benefits. Last week, the Board of Education approved a recommendation to extend the network of the medical providers in Springfield and Northwest Arkansas through December 31st. This should help to alleviate some of the concerns regarding accessibility and availability of health care for our employees as a result of this tragedy. It may not look like it, but we've started reconstruction of our facilities. Last week, crews began at East Middle School and Emerson, excuse me, Cecil Floyd, the administration building, and Emerson Elementary. We plan for each of these facilities to be ready to hold classes on August 17th. As for Joplin High School, Frank Te Franklin Technology Center, and Irving Elementary School, we are ex exploring short-term short options that will meet students' needs until we can rebuild. Many of you are familiar with the Bright Futures program that we've been engaged in for this past year. It celebrated its anniversary, first anniversary in April. This group is playing an integral part in our rebuilding, and at this time I'd like to introduce Jared Hogan, the chairman of the National Bright Futures Board of Directors, to tell you how they are moving forward with the recovery. 